Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's Sunday, November 3rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Here's your weather extreme video. And uh, if you haven't already set those clocks back, you're early. Uh, fall back uh, happened last night about 2 a.m. local time. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do it and then, uh, go back to sleep for another hour. Let's look at some rainfall amounts over uh, Alabama over the past two weeks. Quite impressive. West of I-65, some rainfall amounts in the... Uh, Really, the 6 to 15-inch uh, category there of uh, parts of uh, Winston and Marion County zone to the south, uh, into Green, uh, parts of uh, Pickens, Tuscaloosa, some uh, impressive rainfall amounts. That has definitely put a dent uh, in the drought for areas west of I-65, uh, areas to the east still continuing with some problems, especially over northeast Alabama and there over central Alabama with some extreme drought still parts of uh, Chilton County, over to Coosa and Tallapoosa counties, and uh, no real hope in sight to uh, put a stop to that. It's going to be a dry uh, two weeks pretty much. We're going to have a nice little rain event, um, I think, Thursday night. Friday we'll see in just a moment, but uh, that will still be running uh, below normal. These are precipitation anomalies off the GFS over the next two weeks. This morning high pressure is large and in charge all the way from uh, Mexico through Texas up into West Virginia, uh, centered right here over Alabama. A frosty start of the morning temperatures in the 30s over the northern half of the state. Uh, many areas experiencing frost this morning. Um, and But today will be uh, a lot like yesterday. Uh, a good supply of sunshine, some high and mid-level clouds at times. Highs uh, upper 50s in the north to around 60 in the I-20 quarter to uh lower and middle 60s over south central Alabama. Now for your Monday, we'll be back in the 30s again tonight, uh, but um, some moisture will be moving across during the day tomorrow, and as it does that, uh, that means we're going to deal with some uh, mid and high level clouds again. Uh, the sky will become fairly cloudy at times, high temperatures. Uh, tomorrow will be three or four degrees warmer than today, lower middle 60s across the area. Uh, but no real precipitation expected out of that, although I wouldn't be surprised if you sprinkles here and there. Tuesday, front moves through, high pressure builds in. Uh, that trough that's been over the uh, most of the eastern United States, really most of the United States as a total, um, will begin to lift out to the uh, northeast. Will be uh, mainly dry, maybe an isolated shower early in the day. Uh, going day by day off the GFS Wednesday, high pressure in charge of Alabama's weather. We're really nice day coming in Wednesday. Uh, look for uh, morning lows in the middle 40s, uh, afternoon highs uh, in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So uh, that's quite nice. We'll take that. Another front moving toward Alabama on Thursday. Increasing cloudiness probably holds those temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70. But this system is going to be bringing its own moisture with it. Uh, dragging some Pacific moisture on that southern branch of the jet stream, combining with the front coming in here, and uh, looking like a fairly decent uh, rain event coming for Alabama. Uh, nothing crazy, maybe three quarters to uh, one inch of rain. That system is on out of here by late Friday afternoon uh, in time for high school playoff football and for college football here in our state over the weekend, which will be nice dry and cool. These are temperatures off the GFS uh, showing us flirting with 70 degrees uh, early in the week and settling back into the middle 60s generally. Uh, we get another little, uh, another little rise there into the upper 60s by Monday the 11th. Our next uh, voodoo system comes in uh, with uh, another shot of rain as a strong cold front comes into Alabama on Monday night the 11th into early Tuesday the 12th. And you can see the cool down behind that system Hinting at 30s for highs on Wednesday the 13th. Uh, we'll wait to see if that really happens, but we moderate quickly after that. That's your weather video for this Sunday, November 3rd. Uh, James will be back with two days tomorrow. Of course, I have notes on the blog. Scott will be back next Saturday, and I'll sit in the seat next Sunday when I will once again remind you, as I do today, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.